tongues at it. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. As the man of God comes to minister to us, you are receiving blessed one that is able to save our souls. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God of wonders beyond the galaxy. You are holy.
is more than greater than any other God. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the bright and morning star, the ancient of days. We worship you. We give you all the praise. You that rule it in the affairs of all men, we give you praise, O oh Lord. You the Alpha, you the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last you are. We praise you. We honor you. We bless your name, O oh Lord. We say, be thou exalted, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just ask, O oh Lord, show up tonight, O oh Lord. Lord, bless us with your word in the name of Jesus. We magnify your name, O oh Lord, and we worship you, Lord. Holy Spirit, go and take over. Minister to us. Minister to us tonight. By the word in the name of Jesus. We give you all the glory and we magnify your name. We say, be thou exalted, O Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Tell somebody you are blessed to be here. You are blessed to be here. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You are blessed to be here. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Lord is going to do great and mighty things tonight as He ministers to us, as He terminates some plans of the enemy against us. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're all welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. I want us to just put our hands together for all the pastors in the house. Praise the name of the Lord. The work you are doing, the Lord will reward you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. More grace, more anointing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to bless the Lord for the prophetess in the house. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Prophetess, my dear, the Lord continue to strengthen you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. For our deaconess in the house. Praise the name of the Lord. Deaconess Stella, she's absent today, but she's here with us in the spirit, I believe. Hallelujah. The Lord bless her in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord for all the evangelists in the house. The evangelist Eileen, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Lord will bless her in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, evangelist uh, uh, Kumbo, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord will bless him too in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. And all to all the ministers in the house, praise the name of the Lord. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. May his face continue to shine upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every worker in the house, you are blessed. The reward of the Lord is with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. It shall be well with all of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God unto my lovely wife in the house, a pillar. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord bless you, continue to strengthen you, and increase you, multiply you on every side. In the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Today we are going to be dealing with something that I just believe we need to look into. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I believe that God will bless us tonight Amen. and terminate some things in our lives. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us go to Exodus chapter 20. Exodus chapter 20, 5 and 6. Exodus 25 and 6. Mm. 
Exodus 25 and 6, he says, You shall not bow down to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am what? A jealous God. He says, visiting the iniquity of what? The fathers. On the children to what? The third and fourth generations of those who what? <coughs> hate me. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. See, that was pronounced upon the children of God. He says to them, the Lord says to them, he says, you shall not bow down nor serve them. No other God except me. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, don't put anything between me and you. It shall be me and you together. Praise the name of the Lord. Because he says, I am a jealous God. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know if you have seen a jealous woman or a jealous man before. He doesn't want anything in between. Even he, he can be quarreling because maybe the ear is not, not smooth enough between him and his wife or between the wife and the husband. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He wants nothing in between himself and his wife, or the wife wants nothing in between what the, uh, the husband and the wife. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Even if he looks maybe right or left, maybe when they are driving, he looks right or left, she will be asking, Why are you looking? What are you looking at? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. God says, I'm what? I am what? A jealous God. He says, I am the same. I don't want you what? Looking here and there. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let your focus be on me. That's why the Bible says, Jesus being what? The author what? And the finish of our faith. He says, our, our focus must be what? On Christ Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Our focus must be on him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because he says, when we contradict what he desires, it's his desire that we serve him. It's his desire that we totally yield ourselves to him. Praise the name of the Lord. But when we go against that, he says what? Visiting what? The iniquities of what? The fathers on the children to what? The third and fourth generations. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when he was pronouncing this, he says, if any of the fathers make a mistake and turn their eyes away, he says he will visit what the generation of that family. He says he will visit them what to the third and fourth generations. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That means by one man's act, other suffers. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. By one man's act, others what suffer. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But he says in verse 6, he says, but showing mercy to thousands of those who what, love me and keep my what? Commandments. He says, mercy I will show to those who love me and what? Keep my commandments. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says the eyes of the Lord what? Are rolling to and fro looking for the person that the eyes are what? Stayed on him. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. When your eyes are stayed on the Lord, you will receive what mercy from the Lord. Amen. Since for those who love me and keep what my commandments, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He's a jealous God, but he's a loving God still. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He loves those who love him. And he hates those who want, who hates him. Yes, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He's a loving God. But he keeps to his word. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 30. Just, sorry, Jeremiah chapter 31, 29 to 30. Jeremiah chapter 29. Sorry, Jeremiah chapter 31, 29 to 30. Jeremiah chapter 31, 29 to 30. And let's now see what the Lord says in Jeremiah. He says, in those days they shall say no more. The fathers have eaten the sour grapes, and the children's teeth are what? Set on edge. It's a proverb. He says, when the, 
You know, when you eat something sour, eek, your, your teeth will be, oh God Almighty. He says, and your teeth will go like that. But he says, no longer will they say that when the father eats the sour grape, the father offends God, the father goes against God. He says, no longer will they say what the children's teeth will start to, you know, be on the edge. No more. No more. So the first one that we read, he says, when the father offends, he says, God will visit them. But this one says, no longer will that happen again. He says, I won't visit from the father towards the son anymore. Praise the name of the Lord. Ezekiel chapter 18. One to four. Just to portray that again. Ezekiel chapter 18. One to four. And after that, we'll be looking at 20 to 21. Ezekiel 18, 1 to 4. It says, The word of the Lord came to me again, saying, What do you mean when you use this proverb concerning the land of Israel? Saying, The fathers have eaten the sour grapes, and children's teeth are set on edge. Verse 3. He says, As I live, says the Lord, you shall no longer use this proverb. What? In Israel. He says he cancels it. That when the father offends, the son will suffer. He says, I cancel that. He says it shall no longer be used. What? In Israel. Praise the name of the Lord. And that means it concerns us too because we are spiritual Israel. Praise the name of the Lord. It shall no longer what? Touch us. Praise the name of the Lord. Verse 4. He says, Behold, all souls what are mine. Souls of the Father as well as souls of the Son is mine. But the soul who sins shall die. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, But the soul that sins shall die. It's, this transfer is not there. Praise the name of the Lord. The soul that sins what shall die. Everybody pays for his own Sins. That's what it means. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Says for me, what I say is that the soul that was sin shall die. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 18 and 20 to 21. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. 18, 20 to 21. 18, 20 to 21. Is that it? I said 20. You have given me 18, 18. 20 to 21. He says what? The soul who sins shall die. The soul shall not bear. That is why he's expanding it now. So you understand. He says the soul that bear the guilt of the father, nor the father bear the guilt of the son. Praise the name of the Lord. So that means in those days, even when the son sins, it comes to the father too. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, the righteous of the right, the righteousness of the righteous shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon what himself. The father lives a wicked life. He, he takes the, 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 the repercussion of the wicked. Praise the name of the Lord. The son lives a righteous life. He takes what? The repercussion what? of the righteous. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But there is what still remains. An indirect way that something can pass through what the family line. There still remains a way. And that is the way that the enemy now uses. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That is the way that what the enemy now exploits. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Exodus chapter 34. 
And I'll see what he says there. Exodus 34, 6 to 7. Exodus 34, 6 to 7. So it's no longer direct. God says, I cancel the direct way. For what the sins of the father passing down to the son, I cancel it. But yet, there is what we call an indirect way. That the sins of the father may pass down. The sins of the son may pass down. Praise the name of the Lord. Exodus 34, 6 to 7. He says, And the Lord passed therefore and passed before him and proclaimed. He says, The Lord God merciful and gracious, long suffering and abounding in goodness and truth. You see, this place was when Moses was visited by God. Praise the name of the Lord. And God was telling him, he says, The Lord God, merciful, gracious, long-suffering, abounding in goodness and truth. Verse 7. He says what? Keeping mercy for what? Thousands. Forgiving iniquity and transgressions what? Of sins. I have that one. He says, I can do all that. By no means clearing what? The guilty. If there's another version, please put it so that people understand it. He says, by no means I clear what? The guilty. By no means. Visiting what? Iniquity of the fathers upon what? The children. And the children's children to the third generation. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So when we become guilty, we open the hedge. Praise the name of the Lord. The hedge is open. And the Bible says when the hedge is open, what? The serpent, what? Bites. Praise the name of the Lord. Can we have another version of that? Maybe NIV. Maybe if you have the NIV again, let us see. Praise God. NIV. NIV. It should just change. Just Not NIV. It could be NIV or something there. I don't think you have NIV. Just another version. Praise God. Maybe even amplified if you have. Praise God. He says what? 34 verse 6. He says, okay. And, okay, NIV. He says, and he passed in front of Moses, proclaiming the Lord, the Lord, the compassionate and graceful God, slow to anger. He was telling Moses, I'm slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Verse 7. Then he says, maintaining love to the thousands and forgiving wickedness, rebellion, and sin. He says, I will forgive. But he says, yet he does not leave what the guilty what unpunished. Yet he do not leave what the guilty what unpunished. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon what the children and the children's children toward the third generation. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So when we live a life that is contrary to what God expects, then we open what the hedge for that visitation of the Lord. Because he says, the guilty I will not spare because I will visit what the iniquity of the Father upon them. Remember, he says, I will no more do it. He said it. He says, I will no more visit the father's iniquity upon. But he says, when the person there now becomes guilty, he now opens the way for me to visit. Praise the name of the Lord. He now said it again. Numbers chapter 14, verse 18. Numbers chapter 14, verse 18. Number 14, it says verse 18. Numbers 14, 18, 18. You have to be fast. So who is there? You have to be the Lord is long-suffering, slow to anger, and abundant in mercy, and loving kindness, forgiving the iniquity, forgiving the iniquity and transgression. But he will by no means clear what the guilty, visiting what the iniquity of the fathers, what upon the children, upon what the third and fourth generations. 
Praise the name of the Lord. So we can't live, what is it? He's saying we can't live what a careless life. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, I'm born again. I am born again by the blood of the Lamb, by everything. Praise the name of the Lord. But if we allow the hedge to be opened, the enemy what will bite. Praise the name of the Lord. He will allow what the sins of what our fathers now to visit us. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. But that shall not be our portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Because Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 and 8. It talks that we cannot mock God in any way. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. He says do not be deceived and deluded and misled. Do not be deceived, delu deluded and misled. God will not allow himself to be what? Sneered at. That is to be mocked. Scorned, disdained or mocked by mere pretensions or professions or by precepts being set aside. He inevitably deludes himself who attempts to what? Delude God. If you say, God is not seeing me. I can live the way I like. No problem. God says, I will allow what the enemy what to visit. Praise the name of the Lord. For whatever a man what sows, that he shall only what reap. Praise the name of the Lord. You live a careless life, you reap the what the consequences what of living a careless life. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Because sometimes when we look at generational causes, when we look at ancestral causes, it is not because of, I mean, it, it, it is not, if, if we look at it sometimes, we'll say, ah, everybody lived well enough. No, there are some signs, there are some things that happen, and it constantly happens. When we see some things constantly happening, we need to what take note. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. <coughs> Let us look at anger and violence. Anger and violence. You see that happening. Everybody in the family, angry everywhere. Violence in the family. You see that happening. Take note that there's something going wrong. Praise the name of the Lord. There's something going wrong. Nothing can be said, you get angry. This and is angry. Praise the name of the Lord. It's a spirit. And it started somewhere. But today we are going to crush any spirit of anger that still remains in us. In the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. We look at the line of who? Cain. Let's look at the line of Cain. The Bible says what Abel offered what a sacrifice what of first fruit to what to the Lord. And Cain came, Cain came, came, he just put down anything. He put down anything to the Lord. He said, Lord, take no, no problem. He says, out of the, the, the remaining, he went to give God. Praise God. And the Bible says, and the Lord accepted what the sacrifice of what Abel. But he rejected what the sacrifice of who? Of Cain. And what happened? The Bible says what? That Cain now organized. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But listen to what God said before Cain organized that. Praise the name of the Lord. Genesis. Let us start from Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 4 verse. Hebrews 11 chapter 4. Oh God. Hebrews 11 verse 4. Hebrews 11 verse 4. And as you are looking for that, you look for Genesis 6, Genesis 4, 6 to 7. Hebrews 11, verse 4. What does it say? Hebrews 11, verse 4. Ah. We can read, but let's go on. It says, prompted, actuated by faith. He says what? Abel brought God a better and more acceptable sacrifice than Cain. 
because of which it was testified of him that he was righteous, that he was upright, in right standing with God. So immediately he gave God a great sacrifice. A sacrifice. It, was, it showed that he was what in right standing with God. That means he desired to serve God and to give his life to, to, to the Lord. Praise the name. And God bore witness by accepting and acknowledging what he gives. He accepted it. And though he died, yet through the incident, he's still speaking. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 4. Let us go on. He still speaks. That's okay. But okay. Yet he died. But through the incident, what he still speaks. That's why we say this blood of, of Abel. I mean, the blood of Jesus speaks better than what the blood of Abel. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. That just shows there that Abel offered a better sacrifice. That's what we are saying. But let us see what God now told. Uh, Genesis chapter 4, 6 to 7. Genesis chapter 4, 6 to 7. Okay. He says, And the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? When I didn't accept your what your sacrifice, he says to Abel, Why are you angry that I did not what accept you? And why do you look sad and depressed and dejected? Praise the name of the Lord. Verse 7. He says, If you do well, will you not be accepted? If you had given me an offer of sacrifice, that was of the first fruit. I would have accepted it too. But you did not do well. Hallelujah. Then says, and if you do not do well, he says, sin crouches at your door. It desires is it desire is for you, but you must what? Master it. He says, because you have done this. There is something that is going to be activated in you. But you have to what? Master it. If you can master it, then you have a good life. Praise the name of the Lord. And that was what God was trying to tell him. Master. Because something has been activated in you. Anger. Anger. What did he say in verse 6? What did he say in verse 6? And the Lord said to Cain, Why are you what? Uh-huh. So God has started to see that what something is manifesting in this. And he says what? Lord, you have to master this thing that is manifesting. Except it will destroy your life. Except it will destroy your life. Verse 8. Verse 8. And Cain said to what? His brother. Let us go out to the field. He couldn't master it. He says, let's go out to the field. And when they were in the field, Cain rose up what? Against Abel, his brother, and what? Killed him. He rose up against the brother because he could not master what God told him has been activated by his act. So it was not in the life of Abel before, but because he now did what was wrong to God, anger manifested. And God said, take care of it. He's going to destroy you. <laughs> but he couldn't. The next thing he did was, true, because of that anger of just coming out of God's presence like that, he just went straight to his brother. Let's go to the field. Let's go to the field. And he destroyed what? He destroyed the life of Abel. Praise the name of the Lord. Aha. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 4 verse 8. <coughs> no, okay, okay, we've just finished that, isn't it? 1 John chapter 3. 1 John chapter 3 verse 12. 1 John chapter 3 verse 12. 1 John chapter 3 verse 12. Verse 12. And not be like Cain who took what his nature and got his motivation from what the evil one. He allowed what the evil one to take control of him. And he says, and slew his brother. And why did he slay him? 
because his deeds, activities, and works were wicked and malicious. And his brothers were what? Righteous. Praise the name of the Lord. So we must not allow the evil one to enter. Because when he enters, he destroys. And that's what he did in the life of Cain. Praise the name of the Lord. Genesis 4, 11 to 14. Genesis 4, 11 to 14. He says, and now you are what? Caused by the reason of the earth. That was God speaking to him now. He said to, to, uh, um, to Cain, Open this, he says, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's shed blood from your hand. Verse 12. He says, when you till the ground, it shall no longer yield to you its strength. Remember now, the, the, there are some things being pronounced on the life of what? Of, of Cain here yeah, now. He says, you shall be f a fugitive and a vagabond. That means a wanderer, another one. On the earth, in perpetual exile, a degraded what? Outcast. Spoken by God into what? The life of Cain. Because he did not master hunger in his life. Praise the name of the Lord. Verse 13. 12, 13, we are going to 14. Then Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Oh my God. After God pronouncing that, is it not to say, Lord, I am sorry. Yet he is not sorry about his actions. He is afraid of his punishment. He's not sorry for his actions. He never said, sorry, Lord. That God may even change his mind. Yet, what he was bothered about was what? The punishment that was being meted out unto him. He says what? He says, Lord, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Verse 14. Then he says, Behold, you have driven me out this day from the face of the land. And from your face, I will be hidden. I will be a fugitive and a vagabond and a wanderer on the earth. And whoever finds me will kill me. Praise the name of the Lord. But because God is a merciful God, you remember, he says nobody will kill you. Praise the name of the Lord, but you will still remain in wonder. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, we are talking about, because we are still talking about generational cause. Because the life of Cain now, let us see how that spread into other lives. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's see how it spread. Genesis chapter 4, 23 and 24. 23 and 24. Because when, when you read in, in Genesis, you see that there was this man, Lamech. Lamech came from what? The generation of Cain. Lamech. And let's see what the Bible says about Lamech here. Genesis chapter 20, Genesis chapter 4, verse 23 and 24. He says, Lamech, that's a son of what? Cain. He says, Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zillah, hear my voice, you wives of what? Of Lamech. Listen to what I say. For I have slain a man merely for wounding me. What has happened? Somebody came and hurt him. And in return, in serious anger, wah, he slayed the man. And the man died. Anger started again. Praise the name of the Lord. So he says to me, he says to his wife, And the young man only for striking and bruising me. The man only struck him and bruised him, but he killed the man. Why? Because of anger. The lineage of who? Cain. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Verse 24. Verse 24. If Cain is avenged sevenfold, truly, Lamech will be what? Avenged what? Seven, uh, uh, seventyfold. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Hallelujah. He says, if Cain is avenged what sevenfold, truly lament with what avenged seven. That means his own anger is times seven of what? Of the anger of uh, what do you call it? Of Cain. Anger starts to flow because he could not master it. It was there, but when the man bruised him, he could not master it. Ah, forgive this man. Maybe he does not do what he does. Praise the name of the Lord. He, uh, he reacted and the enemy came in. And anger broke out. Praise the name of the Lord. But look at what this anger caused in the world. In the world. Let us see what the anger of who? Of, of and violence of, of uh, Cain. Let us see where it reached. Genesis chapter 6, verse 13. Genesis chapter 6, verse 13. The people that did not obey the commandments of God, see what they were doing. Genesis chapter 6, verse 13. And God said to Noah, we know who Noah is in the midst of great iniquity. Noah was able to keep himself. And God spoke to him. He says, God said to Noah, I intend to make an end to what? All flesh. For true men, the land is filled with what? And behold, I will destroy the land. From the act of what came, the lineage that came out from Cain was so violent, was so what? Angry that it brought God to say, I will wipe out man. And he did. Praise the name of the Lord. So we must be very careful when it comes to generation ancestral causes. Praise the name of the Lord. Because it, it is there. And when the hedge is opened, he says the people, well, if you read before this, the people became so wild. <laughs> so wild that God said, Ah, I repent that I made man. Praise the name of the Lord. He said they become so wild. Anger, violence everywhere. He says, these people, I cannot let them live. I have to wipe them out. Praise the name of the Lord. Hmm. So we must be very careful. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Covetousness. Covetousness. Let us see that one. Joshua chapter 6, verse 18. Covetousness. Genesis chapter 6, verse 18. It says, Genesis chapter 6, 18. 18, yeah. Okay. Ah, I see, Genesis, Genesis. Joshua, sorry. Sorry, Joshua chapter 6. I was in Genesis. Joshua chapter 6, verse 18. Covetousness. But you keep yourselves from the accosts. God was speaking to the children of Israel. Keep yourself from the things accost and devoted things. Lest when you have devoted it to destruction, you take of the accost thing and so make the camp of Israel what? Accost and trouble it. Praise the name of the Lord. God says when they were going, they say, don't when you get to this place, don't touch any of their cost things. Okay? And you'll be blessed. If you touch it, then you bring what? Trouble upon the people. Joshua chapter 7 verse 1. Joshua chapter 7 verse 1. Are we there? Verse 1, first. It says, but the Israelites committed a trespass. After Joshua has warned them, but the Israelites committed a trespass in regard to what they devoted in. For Achan's son of Kami, the son of Zabri, the son of Zerah, son of the tribe of Judah, took of the things devoted for what destruction. 
And the anger of the Lord was burnt against Israel. One man took. The problem became a generation. Praise the name of the Lord. One man allowed the enemy to what enter into him and he took what of their costing. And the problem started ruling for everybody. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. To the point that the Bible says, when Israel rose up against this little town called Ai, Ai, that is what it's called. The town is called Ai, Ai. Very tiny little town. The Bible says, when Israel went out against them, they were defeated. Hands down. They went out with multitudes of chariots and everything. And they got to this small tiny town. Bam! The people defeated them. Ha! Ah, somebody that was spiritual, they said, there's something wrong. This can't happen. There's something that has happened here. Because we are supposed to have victory. Because we are children of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Something happened. 7, 10 to 12. Let us read 10 to 12. Joshua chapter, just keep yourself on Joshua chapter 7. 10 to 12. So the Lord said to Joshua, get up. Why do you lie dust upon your face? That's after Joshua saw that this thing happened. When the AI, I beat them. He says, Israel has sinned. They have transgressed my covenant, which I commanded them. They have taken some of the things devoted for what destruction. They have stolen and lied and put them among their own baggage. What is not of God that you are still keeping is what is an open door for the enemy. It's an open door for the enemy. Praise the name of the Lord. Anything that you are still keeping I said, this one I can't deal with it. No, I will just leave it. No, let it go. Because you see what covetousness brought. Where did we? Ten? Did we reach? That is why. Okay. Did we read this? No. For okay. That is why Israelites could not stand before their enemies, but fled before them. They are cursed. They they are cursed, and they have become what devoted for destruction. I will cease to be with you unless you destroy their cause things among you. Their cause things started bringing problem. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Verse 20 to 21. Verse 20 to 21. And after that, 24 to 26. Okay, 20 to 21. He says, And Achan answered Joshua, In truth, I have sinned against the Lord and the God of Israel, and this have I done. Verse 21. When I saw among the spoils an attractive mantle for Shina and 200 shekels of silver and a bar of gold weighing 50 shekels, I coveted them. I coveted them. If you want to put it that way. He says, I coveted them. And that sin from there caused a lot of problems in that family. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. He says after that they had to take Achan up to the hills with all the property. And they buried everything that what Achan stole. And they buried everything within there and stoned him. He says the heap of that of where they buried him is still there right up till today. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And what did that cause? In the life of what the children of Israel up till everybody in this world, the problem, what did it cause? First Timothy chapter 6 verse 10. First Timothy 6 and verse 10. Covetousness. Because it draws us away from God. It drew a can away from what the, the, the instructions of God. And see what it says. First Timothy 6 verse 7. What does it say? 
He says, for the love of money is what? The root of all kinds of what? Evil. Evil is the root. The love of money. The love of being covetous. Praise the name of the Lord. For which some have what? Strayed from the faith. It causes people to stray from the faith. Praise the name of the Lord. That one act of Achan that day, God says, these things, if he had left it and left it like that, only God knows what would have happened to covetousness. It would have just been dead and buried. Praise the name of the Lord. But right up to today, people still suffer from that, from that action. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 says, What seek ye first? What the kingdom of God? Praise the name of the Lord. And all what his righteousness. He says, and all other things what will be added unto you. But the thing is being reversed. It's just turned over in the wrong way. They want all other things before God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And see what happened to Achan. It causes death. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You can't reverse the word of God. Seek ye first what? The, uh, uh, the kingdom of God and what his righteousness. A country have just thought and say, ha, ah, God is the one that told me this thing. God Almighty, say with you, no matter how, I will leave it. Covetousness would have been buried that day. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We must fear God. Oh. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 115, verse 13 and 14. Verse, uh, sorry. Psalm 115, verse 13 and 14. Psalm 115, 13 and 14. Then after that you look for Psalm 112, 1 to 3. Psalm 115, 13 and 14. Because we have come to the time that we must begin to fear God now to stop some causes operating in our lives. Praise the name of the Lord. Because it's only the fear of God that can stop the causes. Achan did not fear God. That was the thing. And the other guy, Cain, did not fear God. That's why his thing was not accepted. Praise the name of the Lord. And he caused what? A transfer. Of, 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 of so many causes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Psalm 115, 13 and 14. He will bless those who fear the Lord. Both small and great. So you won't be left out. You are a small child. You, if you fear God, you won't be left out. He will bless you. Praise God. If you are small, if you are a great person, if you are a big person, He will bless you. Praise the name of the Lord. 13 and 14. 14. May the Lord give you increase more and more. Amen. You and your children. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That must be our portion. That myself, my children, we will be blessed. Praise the name of the Lord. We will not open doors that you, God will use to visit them in the third and fourth generation. Praise the name of the Lord. And every door that the enemy wants to open because of what our fathers, what sins and and on, uh, unrighteousness, the Lord will not allow it to be opened. Praise the name of the Lord. Once we fear him and keep his ways, that door cannot be opened by the enemy. Praise the name of the Lord. Psalm 112, verse 1 and 3. 1 to 3. Psalm 112, 1 to 3. Psalm 112, 1 to 3. Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man who what? fears the Lord, who delights greatly in his commandments. Verse 2. He says, his descendants will be what? Mighty in the earth. You see how you can what? stop what generation has? Causes coming. He says, fear God. Then your generation will what? Be mighty. Praise the name of the Lord. Because doors will not be able to be opened. Praise the name of the Lord. 
the generation of the upright will be what? Blessed. Not cursed, but blessed. Leave a legacy of what? Blessing for your children. Praise the name of the Lord. By what? Obeying his commands. Praise the name of the Lord. Living a righteous life and not allowing the enemy in to bring about what? A visitation of causes. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Is it Ham you want to talk about? Ham who was what the son of Noah. Ham, Japheth, Shem. Ham saw Noah. He was, he was, he was naked. And the Bible says what? He went and was mocking his naked father. Praise the name of the Lord. And Shem and Japheth, they came and rolled what the cloth over their father. They covered their father's shame. But the father caused harm. Praise the name of the Lord. And that caused, right, we are still seeing it in our eyes today. From that act of what the, you know what they call it is leeward. Has anybody seen that? Uh, you know what leeward is? No. L-E-W-D. No. L-E-W-D. Check it out. Lewid. Check what leeward is. L okay. Leeward. L-E-W-D. What is L? Leeward. L-E-W-D. Crude or offensive. Huh? Crude or offensive in sexual way. See? Fru is it rude or what? Or rude and offensive. In a sexual way. Rude and what? Offensive oh, in a sexual way. That is where homosexuality started. That is the point of the open door of what homosexuality. When what Ham saw his father naked and he was making a joke of it, about it, it was a lewd act. Praise the name of the Lord. Then what happened? The people, the sons of what? Of, of Ham. One of the sons was called what? The Amorites. And if you look at the Amorites, what happened? That is where what Sodom and Gomorrah came from. People began to what? Sleep with men, sleep with women. And it was so bad that God had to what? Destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Praise the name of the Lord. So we must be very, very careful. Praise the name of the Lord. Not to what? Allow the enemy what? To enter. And allow causes to begin to operate in our lives. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why it is a night of what? Disconnection tonight. Tell somebody I'm going to disconnect. Tell somebody I'm going to disconnect. Ah, from every visitation of causes. In the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm going to disconnect tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. We're going to rise up and pray. Praise the name of the Lord. We are going to rise up and pray. Hallelujah. We're going to break multiple words, generational causes, ancestral causes. We're going to break them in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's speak in tongues for some minutes. Reba shata kuriya laba, lese ke produce kuriya laba shata kuriya. Reba sakata ya laba shata kuriya. Mari bosoto kuriya kata ya laba. Yegele bosakati ya laba shata kuriya. Regele bosoko kuriya kata sakati ya laba. Mari bosata kuriya laba. Regele bosakati ya laba shanda ya Le produce se ke ya laba. Raba sakata ya laba shete kuriya. Rebo soto kuri ba shata kuriya laba. Regele bosakati ya laba shanda ya. Regele bosakati ya laba. Mare bosakati ya laba. Regele bosakati ya laba shanta kuriya. Regele bosata kuriya laba. Mare bosata kuriya la kana ya. Rebo santa kuriya laba shanta ya. Mare bosata kuriya laba. Regele bosokoriya la. Le bata sakuriya laba. Mare bosoto kuriya laba. 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Say, say, oh Lord, say, oh Lord, I pull down every stronghold of the enemy. I destroy all his assignments against me today in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and destroy. Pull down those strongholds. Marebo sakata yalaba. Marebo sakayalaba shanta kuria. The stronghold of anger. The stronghold of violence. The stronghold of bitterness. The stronghold of Lord. Marebo shanta kuria laba. Reke debo shanta kuria laba. Marebo shanta kuria laba. The stronghold of failure. Rakata yalaba shanta kuria laba. Pull them down in the name of Jesus. We pull down every stronghold of the enemy, O oh Lord. The stronghold of covetousness. The stronghold of lewdness. The stronghold, O oh Lord. Of failure, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. I pull them down. Now in the name of Jesus. Santa Kuriaraba. Rekerebo Santa Kuriaraba. Masekelebo Santa Kuria. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord. oh Lord. Oh Lord. I nullify every demonic strategy against me in the name of Jesus. Demonic strategies. Nullify them tonight. Demonic strategies that want me to draw me away from the Lord tonight, oh Lord. I cancel them. I destroy them in the name of Jesus. Every strategy of the enemy to draw me away from the Lord. Tonight, oh Lord, I put an end to it. I silence it now. Every power that was to Lord draw my focus away from the Lord Jesus. Lord, I destroy tonight in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, say, oh Lord, all you principalities and powers and rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places, I pull you down now. I scatter your works now in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, scatter the works, scatter the works, scatter their works, scatter the works of principalities, of powers, of rulers of darkness, of spiritual wickedness. In high places, I, Lord God Almighty, I, ca I cancel their devices. I destroy their plans now in the name of Jesus. By the blood of the Lamb, O Lord. Ekadalaba Santa Curia, Ebrala Sakuria, Marebo Santa Curia Laba, Endelebo Sakaria Laba, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Elebo Santa Curia Laba. Embra la kataya la ba, shete kiri ya la ba. Embro los to kuri ya la ba. Say, oh Lord, say, oh Lord, I resist the enemy today. Say, oh Lord, I resist the enemy today. The spirit to flee, grant me in the name of Jesus. E raba santa kuri ya la ba. He says, resist the enemy, and he shall flee. Oh, prale kadi ya la ba. Ma kene mo santa kuri ya. The Spirit of Lord, don't resist the enemy today. Release upon me. Release upon me. Release upon my children. Release upon every member of Foundation Ministries. In the name of Jesus, O Lord. Santa Santa I resist, O Lord. Every plan of the enemy. I resist today. In the name of Jesus. Oh hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Say, oh Lord. oh Lord. Say, oh Lord. oh Lord. I disconnect. I disconnect myself from the spirit of anger, from the spirit of violence. I disconnect today in the name of Jesus. Oh Rabba Sata Kuniyalaba. Go ahead and talk to the Lord. E Katayalaba. Rekedebo Sakatiyalaba. I disconnect, Lord, from the spirit of anger in the name of Jesus. E Rabba Sata Kuniya. Rekedebo Sakatiya. Rekadayalaba. 
in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, say, oh Lord, I disconnect myself from the spirit of covetousness tonight in the name of Jesus. I disconnect myself from the spirit of the Lord God Almighty of covetousness. It will not operate in my family in the name of Jesus. It will not operate in my children. It will not operate in my family members. It will not operate in any member of foundation ministry in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, say, Oh Lord, say, Oh Lord, I disconnect myself from the spirit of lewdness in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and disconnect your children. Go ahead and disconnect your family members. Go ahead and disconnect. Oh, every member of the shop ministry, the spirit of lewdness, I disconnect in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. Marebo Santa Curia Laba, Rekedebo Santa Curia, Esa Catayalaba, Eprono Sekia, Ira Catayalaba, O Praneke Yalaba, O Sekerebo Santa Curia, Masekerebo Santaya, Ekadiaraba, in the name of Jesus. Say, O oh Lord, say, O oh Lord, I disconnect myself from the spirit of lack and poverty in the name of Jesus. I disconnect my children, I disconnect, O oh Lord. Every Member of foundation ministry, my family members, I disconnect, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. I disconnect myself. I disconnect, O Lord, every word, O Lord, that Lord God Almighty is related to me in the name of Jesus. O Pranikeria, O Reba Sakatiaraba, Maseke Rebo Santa Curia, Reke Rebo Santa Curia Raba, Erebo Santa Curia, in the name of Jesus. And finally, we're just going to pray this prayer. You are going to say, oh Lord, say, oh Lord, I reject every visitation of the enemy upon my family in the name of Jesus. To the third and fourth generation, in the name of Jesus, Makelebo Santa Curia, I reject, I reject every visitation of the enemy. Oh, upon my family, upon my children, upon the Lord Father, every member of foundation ministry, in the name of Jesus, I reject, oh Lord, I reject, oh Lord, every visitation, every evil visitation of the enemy, I reject today, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, Masekelebo Santa Curia, I reject it, O Lord. Every evil visitation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to continue to pray. And I want us to anoint ourselves. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says, My house shall be a house of prayer. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So, everyone, I mean, are you a house? Yes. You are a house of God. Yes. And when you're a house of God, you are supposed to be praying. Everyone here, if you see you're not praying, something is wrong. Because every house of prayer prays. Jesus said, my house shall be called a house of prayer and not a den of tips. Hallelujah. So this anointing is to activate your God-given destiny. Our destiny to be a house of prayer. We want to raise a generation where the children can pray. The youth can pray. The fathers can pray. Everybody can pray. Nobody is just leaning on the intercessors alone to pray. Everybody is praying. Hallelujah. For my house shall be called a house of prayer. So in your house you're praying. In the school you're praying. On the streets you're praying. In the church you're praying. My house shall be called a house of prayer. I'm not a day of things. Hallelujah. I want you to come one by one and anoint yourself. Hallelujah. The prayer mountain, the prayer fire is falling upon each and every one like never before. Oh, Rashandele, 
Yinda karaba satelele. Maribo sindala yandala yandala. Elena bendelele. Uriya satelele. Iya balada la kita. Elena shakere bobo. Oroba satelele. Rendelele kia tatata. Oriya tatata. As you anoint yourself, begin to speak to yourself. Begin to speak to yourself. Begin to speak to yourself. Speak to yourself. I'm a house of prayer. I'm a house of prayer. I am a house of prayer. You better open your mouth and be praying. You better open your mouth and pray. Hallelujah. I'm a house of prayer. I'm a house of prayer. I'm a house of prayer. In the name of Jesus. You can stand in for your, your sons, your daughters, your brothers, your sisters. Everyone connected to you by destiny. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I'm a house of prayer. This container, this container you brought here on earth is to intercede, is to pray all the days of my life. Oh, Rasateva. It's Anna pray that we pray. It's Anna feel I will pray. If Esther prayed, I will pray. Last of Korovaya, last Shaperevaya. I am a house of prayer. This is the kind of transaction that will be happening in this ethnic vessel, in this body has given her, in this container that is carrying her, the spirit of Jiwe into the a house of prayer. All the days of my life. Oh, 
anything they plant, let it turn into rubbish. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord will fight for us. And we will hold our peace. Hallelujah. And then Hebrews. Thank you, Jesus. And say to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, to the sprinkling of the blood that speaks better thing than that of Abel. The word of God will speak better thing for us than that of Abel. In the name of Jesus. He will speak better things for us than that of Abel. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Okay. Then, the combined forces we are going to use. Because we are going to pour the oil on the land. You know, the blood of Jesus will speak for us. The storms and the war will speak for us as well. Hallelujah. And then, we are going to ask, remember anyone pursuing you will have difficulty pursuing you in the name of Jesus. The children of Israel, they were crossing the Red Sea. The enemies were not afraid. They thought that the open door was open door for them. They didn't know that the open door of the sea was only for the Israelites. And the Israelites were marching, marching, marching. And then the pursuers of their destiny made a mistake and continue to run after them. Anyone running after you is about to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. What happened? God made them have difficulty. Their will had difficulty and they could not run again until all the people of Israel moved out and their water consumed. Hallelujah. All the enemies. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In Exodus. Hallelujah. Exodus 14 verse 25. It says, he caused their chariot wheel to Siva and he made them drive with difficulty. So Egyptians said, let us flee from Israel for the Lord is fighting for them against the Egyptians. God is fighting for us. God is fighting for us. That will be our story. They will say, let us run away from these financial ministry members for the Lord is fighting for them in the name of Jesus. In 2 Kings chapter 7 verse 6 it says, For the Lord has caused the army of the Aramites to hear a sound of the chariots and a sound of horses, even the sound of a great army, so that they said to one another, Behold, the king of Israel has hired against us the king of the Hittites and the king of the Egyptians to come upon us. They will hear sound Amen. that will make them come back. In the name of Jesus, they will stop pursuing us. Are you ready to pray? Oh, hallelujah. Let's go outside. Thank you, Jesus. Who come back to with the Lord? Who come back to with the Lord? Who come back to with the Lord? I say nobody. Who come back to with the Lord? Who come back to with the Lord? Who come back to with the Lord? I say nobody. Who come back to with the Lord? Who come back to with the Lord? Who come back to with the Lord? I say nobody. Who come back to with the Lord? I'm not leaving on Jesus. Who come back to with the Lord? Who come back to with the Lord? I say no. Oh, who come back to with the Lord? Who come 